just wanted to do a follow-up video. Some of you were asking about where you enter your bank information. Again, this is the TurboTax link to the stimulus uh, check where you can put your bank information. Click on this one with the American flag right here where it says if you don't need to file your taxes this year, if you're not required to file taxes and don't receive Social Security benefits, use our free stimulus registration for non-tax filers to give the IRS your up-to-date mailing address and direct deposit info. So click here. Do you have a turbo tax? I'm going to hit no. Okay. And I'm going to use uh, an email address. Now I'll put some, just some, I'll, I'll just put this as myself, okay? And I'm going to make up my birth date. No. Obviously, if you are a member of the armed forces, put that, okay? But I'm just doing this as me. And just so you know, this isn't my information. I'm just making this up. So I'm going to put in here New Mexico. Okay, no, I didn't live in another state. A few other questions. Can someone claim you? No. Keep in mind, if you put yes here, then you won't qualify, okay? Uh, no, I was I was not blind. I'm going to put no here because you can do this for yourself. Continue. And let's say you're single. We'll put on there single, okay? Do you have children or support anyone else? I'm going to put no. If you put yes, this is where you put on there and you let the IRS know that you have other de other dependents. Keep in mind that to be below 17. So, but I'm going to put no. Okay. Now let me. I'm going to put a bogus address as well. And you all know my number. I put this out there. Okay. Continue. This is how they're getting your address. Okay. Continue. Did you make any money? I'm going to say no because I didn't. Okay, so they're telling me single. If I had dependents, it'd say head of household. So if I need to add dependents, I'd put that on there. Continue. It is taking some time. We need to make sure you do you plan to file in 2019. So some of you. I'm going to put on here, if you check yes, it's going to have you file your tax returns for 2018 or 2019, okay? So some of you that are below the 12000 minimum income requirement, I do not meet the minimum requirement to file, okay? Click on this one. This is for your SSI income. I had a gentleman call me from Indiana a couple days ago, and he made $9,000. And someone from South Carolina messaged me just today saying they made... Uh, I think it was 10,500. So click on this button right there. Continue. Okay, it is a little bit slow, but it is running. Enter your stimulus payment registration info. So here's here's uh, an example. Use my info from my tax return. I'm going to take Okay. Let's see where does it let me change my name just in case it recognizes me. Okay. Enter your tax payment registration info. Okay. I haven't put this on yet. This is uncommon, but we have to ask, do you have an independent uh, identity protection pin? I'm going to put no. How would you direct deposit? So if you put paper here, they'll send it to your mailing address, the lake address I put up. But you're going to do direct deposit there. Here's where you put your bank information in, okay? I'm not going I'm going to stop here, but then you put your information in here, whatever your bank is, your routing number. If you have a checkbook, that's the first number on your left on the bottom. Your account number is the second number on the bottom. Okay? You'll go through and you'll put that information here. I'm just going to let's just do it. I'll say Wells Fargo. Uh, let's see this is a 9 digit number. Okay, so it said invalid. I'm not going to put any bank information in there, but this is kind of where you get, you put it in. There's a couple more screens you follow through. Go through, answer the questions, and then hit submit, okay? Again, thank you for watching this. Like this page and follow me and subscribe to my page. Thank you.